Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And this is a quick look and observations at our latest build of Windows 10, which is 14.3.8.3. And um, so I've been reading a lot. I've been having a lot of information about what's happening. Now, uh, this looks like pretty much the finalized version, but it's not. And uh, so I've learned that um, next week, we're going to have another build. It's going to be the official release candidate for anniversary update. So this build, 14.3.3 removed the watermark in the bottom right, If uh, for, for all of those that noticed. If you are one of the few that had a blue uh, screen that said that your version will expire on July 15th, don't take note of it. It's not going to be the case. Uh, Donna Sarkar did a little uh, Twitter note because some people were complaining of that, and she said, "No, it's not going to happen. It's uh, don't don't you know just don't look at it. It's uh, not supposed to be there, and it's not the case. So don't worry about it. Uh, if you got that blue bubble that says, "Hey, um, you're going to expire soon," it's not the case. So here's the thing. This is a build. Uh, 14383. Basically, this is close to the finish code. It removed the watermark now because it's pretty much what we'll have and it's preparing itself for the official release. So don't take this as the last official build. We really will have, as insiders, our official anniversary update in build 14384 released next week to insiders. So I'm going to take a look at that and that's the one that I'm going to review. This today we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, how things have gone so I've upgraded things are going well. Um, there are some problems. Um, I've seen a few of you that actually posted um, either publicly or in private about the fact that your version rolled back to the uh, other build, a previous build, which uh, is uh, a little surprising, but you know what? Um, as, as you'll get the anniversary update, I think one of the things that might be a good idea for s most of us that are insiders and that don't really uh, need to, uh, that, that can do it basically, is to maybe clean install from the anniversary update. Um, I, I'm gonna look into it also. Um, although, you know, my builds have been solid, rock solid, working really well. Um, now, this installed really well, pretty much finalized code, but we know one thing. Microsoft has issued a few of the, uh, the information about uh, what's wrong with this version. So, two little problems for those that upgraded, of course. Uh, that blue screen that says uh, you've, uh, you're going to expire soon. And uh, there's a problem with Hyper-V. But apart from that, uh, they've, again, fixed most of what's happened here is fixing bugs. So they've fixed bugs uh, and um, version is working fine. So here's the uh, what's going to happen going forward. Uh, next week, 14.384. That will be the official release candidate. So um, once that is available, I'll make a full review of the anniversary update starting from there. Um, not because I think there's going to be new features. There are probably not going to be any new features. But, you know, I just want to make sure that what I'll, I'm going to talk about is really the official last release. So 14.384 coming next week is going to be the official release. Uh, they've, you know, done a great job. I've been looking at the extensions and now that brings you to the store and stuff like that. Uh, really, really nice. I think uh, we're, we're getting here. Um, I did find one little detail. Uh, Microsoft Edge had a little sluggishness when I went to YouTube and posted videos. When I was typing in that little box where you put the uh, description and the comments, it actually was slow. Um, which is something that I've had a few times in uh, builds of Windows 10. So I don't know if it's an issue with Edge exactly, but uh, it does have that little weird slow glitch 
on YouTube sometimes. Um, now, next week, of course, we'll have that uh, 14384 release candidate, which will open the way to the official release of August 2nd um, for everybody. And of course, if you want to see what it looks like before everybody, just look at my official review when it released next week. And, um, you know, this is so close that um, I, I, apart from probably some, there, there will be some bug fixes. Um, there no new features to be expected. This is really close and probably what is the nearest to officially being uh, the, um, the anniversary update. So uh, we, um, you know, yesterday I was so, so surprised to see that the watermark was gone. So I was like, wow, we're already into the release candidate. Not totally yet, but it's so close that it's probably something close to that. Um, it's interesting. One of the things that I wondered, because they, um, you know, they've changed the date to August 2nd. And I would have thought that the version would have gone to 1608 just because it's August. Maybe they're going to keep it at 1607 because it's close to July or something. Or the release candidate maybe was prepared in July. So another great build. Uh, not official yet, like I said. Don't uh, be too happy. Uh, new build coming up next week, 14384. That will be the official release. For those that have been asking me, should I stop Insider Builds? Um, well, wait for 14384 to appear next week. Once that is there, that's up your, to your decision. Do you want to stop Insider Builds? Do you want to continue uh, Insider Builds? Uh, it's up to you. Of course, I will be continuing because I love receiving builds, but I also love, um, you know, checking out the new features and um, tweaking everything before everybody else gets these new features. Uh, it's really, really nice. So next week, expect a full review of the anniversary update so that everybody that will, uh, that are not insiders will get a real view of um, what is it to expect on August 2nd. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informing new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and hopefully you enjoy our videos. Thank you for watching.